Hello, welcome to Board Game Base Coats, and today we are painting the Grave Dancer Circle from the Court of the Dead Mourner's Call board game. Now this is the second of the Spirit Figs, so let's get started. First of all, the primer, and just uh, the same as the first Spirit Fig, I went with pure white, uh, top and bottom. Now there's a huge uh, uh, seam right there. Now if I were being fancy, I'd fill it, but good enough for our board game, good enough for our play. So we'll get right to the base coat. Uh, paint to medium, it's basically uh, two parts paint, one part medium, and just like with the first Ghost Figs, already, boom, <laughs> uh, killing my camera with how bright this jade green is, but that's okay, they are ghosts. And just like I did with the first one, I'm going to go with this gradient. Uh, this time I'm going to kind of center it on the face uh, more than the top. And basically all I do is I pour out the extra paint, throw in some drops of uh, white, and keep spraying from progressively steeper angles. But I am trying to basically focus it in on the face. So I do this uh, three times, well a total of four times uh, if you count the initial base coat. So uh, this gives me a gradient that you can't see it on camera at all, uh, but it is there. Next up is the weapon and just like I did with the other uh, spirit fig I wanted to go with something ornamental and ceremonial so I'm using this brass color for this lantern and I'm also going to use it on the crown but I'm going to hold off on that uh, because I do want to paint um, the shroud or the veil uh, first so uh, I'm going to use this white as a base for the smoky spirits uh, that's wrapping around the figure as well as the veil and I was so tempted to leave that veil white um, but I have a scheme in mind so uh, we'll get to that in a minute uh, first of all though uh, now that I have the veil uh, base coated white this let me see where the lines were a bit better so I went ahead and uh, painted this crown now, I probably could have waited because I am going to paint the veil uh, but it's fine it worked out okay so uh, let's go ahead and move on and paint that veil. So, going for green. So green on green. Uh, seems weird, I know. Uh, and quite frankly, I wasn't sure how it would look. And even now that it is done, eh, I could take it or leave it. Um, but I am going for a certain um, scheme. So we'll keep it. Next up is the wash. And with this wash, I'm going to wash... Uh, not only the veil, but all of the metal components as well as the white smoky spirit component. And man, um, getting behind or between the uh, fig and that spirit was such a pain this entire process. Next up is to wash the spirit itself. And this time I went with basically a one to, well, one to two <laughs> um, ink to medium. And I accidentally grabbed my regular medium instead of my airbrush medium, eh, but it worked out just fine. Um, I definitely think a one-to-one -one is what I'll go with in the future. Then, now it's this lantern process. So I probably could have base coated this white when I uh, painted the other um, parts white, but I did forget. So uh, I quick uh, throw on some white here, and then I'm going to do something I've never done, which is use my airbrush to get a glow effect. So. Um, I went ahead and dumped it right into my airbrush. This is also a first for me, never done this, mixed it right in there. Uh, yeah, didn't like this, ended up uh, mixing up a big old batch, but uh, sprayed this here and wow, I was really pleased with the effect. It was kind of a trick. I did not want to spray the figure too much, but it does light up the shoulder and face, so it looks nice. Then uh, all the colors done, all to do is to varnish. So one to one varnish to airbrush medium and all of the figs got three coats as usual because they are gaming figs and as ever the veil um, needs a matte coat because it does not need to shine so yeah you know I'm kind of okay with the veil maybe it's not so much a wedding thing as it is a ceremonial thing anyway here is the fig all done and that means both spirit figs are done and we are four for six so we are basically done so let's check out the lineup there we go. So, next up are the Flesh Faction. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.